Uh, I want to ask our student pastor, Dominic Kendall, to come up. Everybody, let's give it up for Dominic. We love and appreciate Dominic so much and uh, his sweet family. And uh, the Lord has done something in Dominic's life in the last uh, uh, couple of weeks. I want him to share with you all this morning, all right? Good morning, church. Um, <laughs> I want to let you know that uh, some of you guys know this story, some of you guys don't, so I want to uh, refresh your memory. Uh, in 2009, I was a junior in high school and uh, played soccer, and, and uh, during a soccer game on April 23rd, 2009, I was kicked in the face um, going for a ball and, and uh, was rushed to UT Medical Center where they did some uh, MRIs and some scans on my face to see if I had broken my orbital bone. Um, and uh, just by happenstance, the doctor said, but we know different. Um, they discovered a small little benign tumor in my brain. And uh, so at the age of 17, on July 21st, 2009, I had brain surgery. Uh, this was a preventative brain surgery because they, uh, where the, the little tumor was, was uh, sitting in front of a tube it shouldn't be and wrapped around some, it was wrapped in some stuff it shouldn't have been. And so they couldn't take it out. And so they could only uh, make a, a safety chute. And we would have scans every three to five years uh, to, to make sure that uh, if it's grown and, and, and to watch it because it would eventually grow to a size that they would have to then do another more invasive brain surgery uh, anywhere from 10, 15, 20, 30 years down the line. Uh, this has been something I've lived with for, for a decade now um, and uh, I carry around with me a manila envelope filled with uh, documents uh, just in case anywhere that I am in the world or in the country that I were to experience uh, symptoms I could, I could go have brain surgery and so um, anyways I, I've lived with that and I had a scan uh, just a, a, a couple weeks ago uh, at St. Vincent's and, and went for my follow-up appointment this, uh, this past Tuesday and so I'm sitting there and I'm like the last appointment of the day and so I'm there for like two hours and uh, I'm, I'm sitting there waiting and waiting and, wait. and this is always just a nerve-wracking time for, for us as a family and, and just kind of just kind of brings just a little bit of nervousness into the into the mix of a daily uh, of our daily lives and so um, anyway so get there and the doctor walks in and the doctor looks at me and says doesn't say anything else says well you've been healed I went wait wait I said whoa 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 what do you mean been healed and he's like you've been healed and I said okay I got you I need you to check again because I'm about to call my mama and my wife and tell them Jesus miraculously healed me and I need to know you're looking at my brain and not Stevens down the road. I need to know. And he said, Dominic, let me be honest with you. He said, I don't get it. And I was like, I think this is how these things normally go. Um, he says, I, I don't get it, but um, Dominic, the, the, the tumor's not there anymore. And not only is the tumor not there anymore, the the canal that they built and crafted in your brain, that's no longer there anymore. He said, the only, the only evidence that there's even been brain surgery is that there's a little cap right here from where they drilled into my skull. And he said, you've been healed. And I was sitting there going, what? <laughs> the, the Lord is abundantly good. Um, I, was, I came to grips at the age of 17 that the Lord would get all the honor and glory for this in my head. Somehow, some way, he would get all the honor and glory. And all the more uh, for healing, the Lord will get all the honor and glory. And so, church, I wanted to share that. The Lord is, doesn't, is not only concerned with your, your spiritual life. I mean, the Lord is also deeply concerned with the physical. And, uh, man, he, he's healed me. And so, uh, all the honor and glory to the Lord. So, thank you, church. Praise the Lord. How many of you are glad today that God is still in the healing business? Amen.